let's talk about pigmenting pulp. So in paper making, we like to use pigment to color pulp. And this is aqueous dispersed pigment. It's a pigment that is mixed with water. That's it. So oil paint is mixed with linseed oil. Uh, other kinds of paints are mixed with other mediums. So this is just water and pigment. And I get mine from Gara Paint. Carriage House Paper also carries uh, pigments. And I don't do a ton of coloring. You can get much larger bottles of this. But I like to color mostly for uh, teaching, pulp painting, pulp stenciling. Um, occasionally I'll color a whole batch in my beater to make uh, a whole load of paper that is one color. But um, I like to wear gloves when I'm pigmenting. And there are many ways, this is like cooking, uh, to do this. But I have, in this container, I have a finely beaten flax pulp. So I beat it for three hours in my Hollander. So it's very short. It's going to have more places for the pigment to bond. And I'm gonna shake up my pigment and I'm just gonna put a drop in, a drop or two, okay, a, an ooze, <laughs> and stir that up uh, to see what it looks like. Now, um, I have these little cups. Sometimes I'll mix a color because you can mix pigments together. So I'll make my color first and then pour it in. But today I'm just being pretty organic so I'm just gonna add a touch of yellow. Now every pigment is a different dilution. In fact, these pigments have um, their tenth strength on there. So it's turning a little green, look, turquoise. And uh, maybe I'll just add a bit of white to Make it a little lighter. And then once I have the color that I want, we do have to add a binder. So you're probably familiar with the term mordant for dyeing. So for pigments, it's uh, called retention aid. I get that from a paper making supplier. So what happens is the, the color is still in the water and I want to change the ionic charge of the pulp so that the color sticks to the pulp and is not in the water because my paper will just dry lighter because the pigment will um, wash away with the water as I make paper. It also could stain my felts. So this is a very important part. And this is the retention aid I get from Carriage House. There are a couple different kinds. It's a cationic substance or cationic resinous compound. And um, there's a powder form that you can get as well and mix up. So you don't need a lot of this for this small amount. And by the way, Dyes are not as light fast as pigments. That's why we use pigment. So I've got about a half teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that up and I'm going to see whether the water becomes clear. I feel like the pulp, the intensity of color is stronger now and uh, it seems like the water might be clear. So it's getting clearer. I'm gonna let it sit for a moment. Oh, my glove just broke. Uh, so I took it off. So different colors have to sit for longer or shorter until the, the water is clear. So it's getting there, but it's not quite. I'm gonna add just a touch more retention aid and then I'll let it sit and check back in 15 minutes or so. So it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check again. 
See how the water, it's pretty clear, but there's still a little blue in it. Here's a color I made up earlier, and the water is really clear. I think you can see that. So the, the uh, retention aid has done its job. This one will need to sit a little longer. And then I usually just mix up a bunch of colors. You can also test whether it's bleeding by putting it on a wet sheet of paper, or this is a wet sheet of Pellon. Just put a little bit there. It's retaining pretty well. The color would be oozing out. Which actually you see a halo of that blue. So there is some color. Here it's not happening. And I have a really dark green that I think is going to bleed. It's, it's holding pretty well, too. Now, one other thing. If you're trying to match a color, um, you need to know that these pigments, this is going to dry lighter. Remember, we started with a white pulp, and it's like when you spill water on, a, on your clothes. It looks darker. So if you want to match a color, you'll need to um, iron or blow dry your sample until it's dry so that you know when you've got the right amount of pigment and color. Now these little swatches dried and you can see there's a very light halo of blue here and it's been uh, overnight and we can check and see that that water is completely clear now. So some pigments just have to sit in the pulp for a while.